You're telling me I waited uh, one week for a double dose of Nanatsu no Taisai chapter 144 and 145 to get a despair chapter? <sighs> why? I mean, just honestly, why do you have to do this? I mean, I was crying. My soul was crying when I saw the ending of the episode of chapter 145. There is no hope, no, more for Ban. Chapter 144, uh, I'm gonna do both of them, that's why I waited to review either one. I'm gonna, this is a double one, so I'm doing them both. Of chapter 144, the fight against Galan and Merashela. Well, here it appears Galan is Garan, not Galan. Once again, a mispronouncing, I mean... Is it the translation or is it the manga itself? How come so many of the Ten Commandments have their names all so many wrong all the time? First it was Galan, now you're telling me it's Garan? Ugh, don't matter. What matters is that Garan is of course pissed off having been ass kicked by the traitor Meliodas. But Ban, in being mortal, yes, heals from Galan's uh, sword cuts, and that includes smashing his head. Yeah, G Ban's immortality is completely immortal. It's uh, completely what you almost say wonderful in a way. Uh, it's um, but uh, on a side note, Ban begins to steal Galan's physical power, revealing that. Uh, Apparently, Galan or Garan is the one who is the physically strongest of the Ten Commandments. And the fact that he only has raw power right now, and that Ban can still have raw power, makes his power level so much greater than Galan, and he freaking kicks his ass all over again. But as I saw at the beginning of the chapter, this was only chapters of despair. As Meta Skyla proves that she is the smart one here, and she is calculating when it comes to me me emotions. And G what I wish TV Tropes could write this down though, Galan is simply a dumb muscle. He has no brain, only muscle. Or more likely, he is, re he is hot headed too. He reacts only on his anger, he doesn't even think. What Meta Skyla actually tries to think. And so. Meraskyla traps Ban inside of her dome, shadow dome, revealing, and she finally reveals what her faith stands for. And I gotta say, this is so. The, this, the power of the Ten Commandments are so different all the time. Apparently, her power, the faith, means that. Uh, uh, means that everybody has some kind of faith inside them. But if people lose sight, lose their faith, whatever, if it's love, a god, or uh, something precious to them. For example, a young man seeing his dead wife and uh, 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 when, when he lost, uh, when he sees his dead wife, uh, love being resurrected, he panics because, and he no longer loves her. Therefore, he, lo he lo loses faith in his love when he sees that monster. And so his eyes get burned out. That's the power of Mera Skyla's faith. Anybody who is faithless, faceless against her will have their eyes burned out. Are you kidding me? That is almost too dangerous. Are you telling me that no one believes in anything will have their eyes burned out? Or that the fact that they have some kind of faith, and if they in her presence, abandon that faith, then they will have their eyes burned out. Such terrible fate. Also, it's revealed that this way. Ban may be immortal in body, but that doesn't include his soul. And so Marashkaila ejects Ban's soul. It flies away and when Marashkaila tries to eat it, but Galan steals it instead and eats it. Yeah. Given to the fact that next week's chapter is called Farewell My Beloved Thief. That means and the fact that we saw Meliodas and Ban going all around his different flashbacks. Are you telling me Ban is dead? Are you telling me King won't make it in time? 
once again. I, I, oh, I, I want to only talk to Bun about now, but oh, you can tell me once again, King is going to be late. The horror. I won't accept this. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, are you telling me that Bun is going to die now? And to the fact that his soul is so powerful and all that stuff, that Galen's going to get his magic power back. Because if he does, then he eventually will just won't stand a chance. Yeah, I mean, I'm so pissed off, I almost wanted to drop the manga for a second. I'm not kidding. I did not like this ending. It was awesome two chapters. It just was so sad. And that faithless emotion... Um, uh, that 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 proves that all of the uh, the fact that proves that all the Ten Commandments different powers are not to be trifled with, not a single bit at all. And so the chapter ends. Ban is dead. What we can presume, King will not make it, and Elaine is also dying. Give me your thoughts, if you have any.